Hey everybody, Matt Travis coming to you at the Potential You today in our 21 life transformation tips for the year of 2021. Today is day number five and, or sorry, day number six. And today is all about stop overthinking and over complimenting, uh, over complicating and be bold. Stop overthinking and over complicating and be bold, right? I've already made two mistakes in this video alone and I'm over it, right? I'm not overthinking it. I'm not over complicating it. And I'm just going to be bold and continue to deliver the message, right? And you need to do the same thing. See what happens to a lot of people is many people are really smart and really intelligent. And that, um, that, that can be a detriment sometimes because it helps them predict and forecast potential negative outcomes, right? So they overthink all the things that could happen and oh, this bad thing's gonna happen here and that thing's gonna happen over there and oh, I'm not gonna be successful in all of these things. So they, they develop all of these stories around why they're not gonna be successful so then they don't take action, right? And what I've learned is that boldness beats intelligence every day of the week. So every single year around the New Year's time, I always pick a word that will help me define uh, the year ahead of me, right? It might be believe or uh, achieve or strive or, you know, it, for you this year, if, if you feel like you overcomplicate and overthink things, it might, you might want to make it be bold because boldness is a really powerful uh, it's a powerful skill and attribute that can really help you step into what you want and going out and getting what you want and not focusing on what might happen, right? So stop overthinking and overcomplicating over and be bold, right? So step one, get out of your head, right? This coming year, get out of your head. Stop listening to that voice that tries to uh, make you feel bad and, and talk badly about you and your skills. Okay, number two, try out the do it anyways habit. Actually, I wouldn't try it, I would just do it. <laughs> the do it anyways habit, right? This is my favorite habit, and we'll talk a little bit about it more tomorrow, but the do it anyways habit is when you don't feel like it, do it anyways. So get out of your head, do it anyways, and this is number three and super important, prepare and be willing to make mistakes, fail, and learn from it all, right? Build that character, build your get grit, build your skills, be bold, and be willing to make mistakes and failures because it is going to happen. Prepare for it to happen because it, it happens to me all the time and that's some of the best teaching that I've ever gotten from the mistakes and failures that I've had, right? And the fourth thing I'll leave you with today is Start chasing what you want. Start chasing what you want and give it at least 10 attempts. At least 10, 10 attempts at what you're trying to accomplish. Because if you chase what you want and you don't settle, if you don't settle for what you can get, life is going to be more amazing than you could ever have imagined it to be. Okay, so stop settling for what you get, chase what you want, give it at least 10 attempts, prepare to make mistakes and have setbacks and things like that. Do it anyways when you're not feeling like it and get out of your head and be bold this coming year. So keep showing up, taking action, and you will get results with all of this stuff that you're learning in these 21 days. And I will see you tomorrow in day number seven where we are going to talk about the top three resolutions. If you're a person that sets resolutions, I'm going to teach you the top three that I found to be the most beneficial in anything that you're trying to accomplish. Okay. And they're all habit based. So we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Have an awesome rest of your day and we'll see you soon.